let's kick off with what, what is a social media strategy or what is the, the definition? So a social media strategy defines how your organization will use social media to achieve its marketing or communication objectives and identify the supporting platforms or tools that you're going to use to achieve this. You know, so in essence it's a it's a statement which outlines the goals and objectives you know for using social media and the outcomes you want to be, to achieve. You know, and that social media strategy should be done in the context of your overall business and marketing objectives. You know, so and that's to ensure that social media isn't working in solo, but it's working sort of alongside the other marketing channels. It's it's not a lone wolf per se. Um, and on to, you know, does your business actually need a social media strategy? So maybe you're a small business and you know you you've maybe three employees and you're posting on social media strategy. Um, well, everyone can see there. My answer is yes. Um, you know, because if you're actively on social media for your business, you know, you must need some direction. You know, because it's going to be difficult to manage, interpret, and measure that success. You know, and maybe even if you're not on social media, um, other businesses are, including your competitors, and most likely a significant portion of your customers are also on social media. So you do need some formalization of what it is you're, you're going to do on, on social media. Um, some of the key reasons why your business should be on social media and should um, develop a, a social media strategy. Um, and one of the main ones is social media is still growing. It's going to be here for a long time. Around 45% of the world's population uses social media every day. And a recent study found that users are spending on average three hours a day on social networking and messaging platforms, which is a huge amount of time out of your day. Um, social media also drives purchasing decisions. You know, I seen a stat there recently which said that 64% of people use social media for inspiration and research during their online shopping process. So it's a, you know, it's a really um, engaging platform where people are actively researching for products. And you know, nowadays I would say it's fairly uncommon to find a business that has no social media presence whatsoever. And the companies I'm talking to are understanding, you know, the importance of developing clear social media strategies and I guess that's why everyone has signed up to this webinar today because they know it's an important um, tool in your business toolkit. You know, you know, if you're a, a marketing manager or a, or a business owner with a strategy, any type of strategy, it gives you a framework to plan, a framework to prioritize tasks, execute tactics, um, measure and optimize your business's performance and nine out of ten times having that sort of framework typically leads to you know better results and um, because the activity that you're doing has direction and it's it's outcome orientated now if your competitors are adopting a, a strategy or investing in a social media strategy and you aren't theoretically they're going to have better results on social media marketing on social media than, than you so having no strategy will put you behind competitors, theoretically. Um, and with nearly half the world's population on social media, uh, I think it's fair to make an assumption that your customers are on social media, or a significant portion of your customers are, are using social media regularly. And social media provides customers a platform to share, consume, and access information. And deciding on how you connect with them on social media isn't really a tactical decision. It's more of a strategic one because it requires strategic thinking. So hence the need to formalize some sort of social media plan or strategy and, and adopt some sort of direction. You know, because if you invest in, in social media without a clear strategy, you don't know whether your campaigns are successful. You know, and if you're simply posting to appear active you know how do you know that the content that you're posting 
is you know contributing to your business in a positive manner um or is it actually putting people off because of mixed messaging and and so on and i've you know a lot of companies i've seen just kind of um let maybe the youngest person in their company um who's on social media you know fire on with it and with no strategic direction or, or vision and you know they've you know, risk sort of serious inefficiencies and inaccuracies and, and wasted time and, and effort. And I suppose as social media is becoming more integrated in our daily lives, you know, it's gives us businesses countless opportunities to reach out to our audience and, and effectively target them and you know and that's all guided by by clear um strategy. Another key reason to develop a, a social media strategy is that having that direction and strategy in place will put a focus on communicating your business's USP or your value proposition as is, is, is shown here in the diagram. Um, because it, it puts a focus on communicating that to your audience via certain messaging content or, or visuals. And a lot of businesses I talk to struggle to communicate that USP or that value proposition to their customers. And if you look at the model here on screen, um, the value proposition is, is inside and around it you have brand, product and experience. So if you think about social media, you know, obviously on social media you can communicate your brand and why people should buy from your business on social media. Um, you, on social media, you can communicate that experience people get from, you know, buying from you or using your service, and whether that's through maybe customer experiences through video testimonials or demos of them using your product. Um, and on social media, you can also, um, in terms of the, the product element of it, um, you know, explainer videos as to how people use your product or what type of value or you know the the features and benefits of your product and this all creates value for your products and your brand and if you have that strategic focus um it allows you to communicate that value proposition to your your customers which in turn um adds value to your business and adds value to the price of your product um so some of the key reasons then to to devise a social media strategy and I think and I think they're um, very important. On to the five steps now which I guess why everyone is is, is sort of here. Um, step one is situational analysis. Step two setting objectives. Step three finding and researching your audience. Um, step four creating content for your audience and step five test measure and iterate. 